Hi everyone, welcome to this video where we will explore the story of Lucifer, the fallen angel who became Satan, the enemy of God and man. We will also compare and contrast Lucifer with Jesus, the son of God who became man, and learn some important lessons from their choices. Lucifer's Origin and Position Lucifer was a radiant, shining, and majestic angel, created by God to reflect his glory. He was one of the main angels, along with Michael and Gabriel, who served God in heaven. He was also the anointed cherub who covers and protects, meaning he had a special role in guarding God's throne and presence. Lucifer's Rebellion and Fall However, Lucifer was not content with his position and privileges. He challenged God and sought to be like him, saying in his heart, I will ascend to heaven, I will raise my throne above the stars of God, I will sit enthroned on the Mount of Assembly, on the utmost heights of the sacred mountain. I will ascend above the tops of the clouds, I will make myself like the Most High. Isaiah 14 verses 13 to 14. He also led a third of the angels to join him in his rebellion, convincing them to follow his lies and promises. But God saw through his pride and arrogance, and cast him out of heaven by his judgment, along with his followers. Jesus said, I saw Satan fall like lightning from heaven. Luke 10 verse 18. Lucifer's transformation to Satan. Lucifer's fall changed him from a beautiful and glorious angel to a hideous and evil being. He became the adversary of God and man, the father of lies, the accuser, the tempter, the deceiver, and the destroyer. He hates God and his creation, especially humans, who are made in God's image. He seeks to defile, corrupt, and ruin them by any means possible. He also uses music and slander to deceive and enchant people, as he did in heaven. He was the master of music, having pipes and tambourines built into him. Ezekiel 28 verse 13, he uses music to influence people's emotions, thoughts, and actions, and to promote his agenda of rebellion and sin. He also slanders God and his character, accusing him of being unfair, unloving, and untrustworthy. He tries to make people doubt God's word and promises, and to turn away from him. The contrast between Lucifer and Jesus. Lucifer and Jesus are complete opposites in every way. Lucifer was not in the form of God, but grasped at equality with God. He wanted to exalt himself above God and take his place. He was driven by pride, ambition, and selfishness. He rebelled against God and his authority, and caused others to do the same. He was brought down to the pit, the lowest place of darkness and torment, where he will be punished forever. Revelation 20 verse 10. Jesus, on the other hand, was in the form of God, but did not consider equality with God something to be grasped. He humbled himself and became a man, taking the form of a servant. He obeyed God and his will, even to the point of death on a cross. He was motivated by love, humility, and selflessness. He submitted to God and his authority, and taught others to do the same. He was exalted to the highest place, the right hand of God, where he is honored and worshipped forever. Philippians 2 verses 5 to 11. The Lesson of Lucifer's Fall. Lucifer's fall teaches us some important lessons about ourselves and God. First, pride is the most lethal of all sins. It is the root of all other sins, and the cause of Lucifer's downfall. Pride makes us think we are better than God and others, and that we can live without him. Pride blinds us to our own faults and weaknesses, and makes us resist God's grace and correction. Pride leads to destruction and death. Proverbs 16 verse 18. Second, the way up is down, and the way down is up. Self-humbling leads to promotion, and self-exaltation leads to humiliation. God opposes the proud, but gives grace to the humble. James 4 verse 6, If we humble ourselves before God and others, He will lift us up in due time. 1 Peter 5 verse 6, But if we exalt ourselves above God and others, He will bring us down to our proper place. Luke 14 verse 11. Third, the only way to stay in God's presence is to worship Him. Worship is the opposite of pride. It is the recognition of God's greatness and goodness, and our dependence and gratitude. Worship is the expression of our love and devotion to God, and our submission and obedience to His will. Worship is the purpose for which we were created, and the source of our joy and peace. Worship is the antidote to Satan's lies and temptations, and the weapon to overcome his attacks. Worship is the way to draw near to God and experience His presence and power. Conclusion Thank you for watching this video. I hope you learned something new and valuable from the story of Lucifer, the fallen angel who became Satan, the enemy of God and man. I also hope you were inspired and challenged by the contrast between Lucifer and Jesus, the Son of God who became man. And I hope you will apply the lessons of Lucifer's fall to your own life, and avoid the pitfalls of pride, self-exaltation, and rebellion. Instead, choose to humble yourself, exalt God, and worship Him in spirit and truth. God bless you. See you in the next video.